Hi, this is Anthony here at a DIY Auto Tech. We're sitting here on the Rottler SG8 and we're going to be showing you how to grind some valve seats today. First step is to get your cylinder head set up on the machine nice and tight and get it centered. Okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, what we're trying to do is we're going to set the cutting tool and to set the cutting tool we're setting um, the needle pointer which is going to be on the valve one third from the actual margin. Okay. And we have that drawn out here on this piece of paper? We've drawn it on a piece of paper. We've put an arrow one third from the margin and we've done the same thing on the setting tool. All right, looks good. Okay, the next thing, this is our cutter. Okay. And if you note, on our cutter we have our 45 degree angle and there's, I don't know if you can see the little line that goes on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's a 15 degree angle there and it tapers out. What we're going to be doing is setting that pointer to that in a point in a line of the 15 degree okay. as shown on the diagram. Okay. So what we're going to do is we put our valve going. Undo that. We're going to undo the screws and we're going to bring the cutter out. Okay. So now at this point we're adjusting the cutter. Yeah. By turning the screw out, we're bringing the cutter out. Now, okay. if we use the magnifying glass, we can That'd get it perfect. perfect. That looks good. Okay, you see it's touching the... That looks perfect, yep. Just touching the outside edge of the 15 degree. Okay. So once we tighten this cutter down, yep. we'll be ready to use it. Yep, I'm just trying to get... All right. What we're going to do is we're going to clean out the valve guides quickly with a iron wire brush. We're going to run them through quickly on each one to get rid of any oil residue or any gumming. Just going to give it a quick brush up and down. When you're happy with that, you just wipe. This is the spigot or guide. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert it into the valve guide and turn it. What we're going to do is we're going to level the head with the machine okay. to the datum zero. Okay, we're going to level the deck, the head with the machine. The machine can move either side this way, and we have to set the head on the deck itself by rotating this button. Now we're checking 90 degrees. We've got 05 on the head. And what we do is this number we can't set on the machine itself, but we have to set it on the head. And uh, there we go. We have zero. Alright. And we take it off. We've got 0.5. So, and now we want to check 90 degrees in this plane from the vertical. We have zero. Okay. And we have zero. With this plane, we set the head on this deck. We can move it side to side, and we've set this to this. With this way, we set the head to the machine. Okay, perfect. So with this setup right now, we would be ready to cut. Correct. All right. And we are what we're doing is we are marking the seats. So when we cut, we know that we've cut all the way around equally. Okay. So we shouldn't have any black marker, marker on 
on the seat itself once we machine. That means we've removed, and we're looking to remove oh, any pits. Now we gotta get the machine aligned over the top of it. So now we have it aligned. Once he has it aligned, you pull this little guy up so that you can get a little wiggle in there. We're going to try getting it as close as possible. And to lock the machine. Okay, so basically what he just did was he used getting the cutter to sit as close as possible to the actual valve seat and that's where he locks it in, and we have to set up our dial indicator so we know where we're gonna start cutting. Yeah. All right, gonna make sure it's touching. Now once he backs it off a little bit to make sure the cutter is not actually touching the valve seat, backs it off just a couple thousands, and we're gonna yeah. set our RPM speed, which is gonna be different for every single uh, cylinder how we do, but for this one, we're gonna do 100 RPM. It's gonna start the machine, cutter's gonna start cutting, and he's gonna turn the dial until we start touching. You're gonna listen for the cut. Should be about 90. There you go, okay. 90. It's just starting to cut. And once we barely touch the cut, we're gonna start zeroing the gauge out just so we know exactly how much we're taking off. So we've just started touching, we're now at zero. And all we're doing is slowly turning this dial, and as you can see, the more he turns, the more we're taking off. And all we're trying to listen for is a cut that goes all the way around. Like we hear now. Alright, and so far, now that we have a good cut that's all the way around, we've taken off about 11 thousandths. We're okay with this, so we're going to back the machine out a tiny bit, pull out the stop after turning it off, and then we're going to lift the cutter off of the cylinder. Alright, now we're going to inspect, see, make sure we don't have any pitting left over, that the cutter has actually gone all the way around. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to mark little lines across the valve seat. Like so. With a permanent mark or you can use engineering blue or Prussian blue. Okay. My colleague here is going to then insert it into the valve guide and let it bang down a few times. And then turn it quarter turn. Then pull out. And we're going to see where she's rubbing. And you can see she's crossing right in the middle. Looks good, so we want to have it right in the, in middle, the middle or a third over as on she, the margin. Up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. As she wears, the middle line will move towards the edge okay. as the valve goes down. All right. So this valve looks good. Yep. So this is establishing that we have a clean cut on the valve seat. And then our next step after that will be to pressure okay. test okay. the system here. So we done, let's put the valve in there, we're pressure testing it, and we're getting about 20 inches of mercury, which is very good. We want to have at least 15 to 20 inches of mercury. This seat is all finished up. In another video from DIY Auto Tech, we'll see you next time.